We're going to see a good clean set. We're going to see hopefully a lot of adjustments, a lot of adaptations from both of these players. Yeah. Gonna it was when they last played. Like last played, the time where Swaddles won, and I think the I think both times they played it's been best of three. So this will be the first three out of five set they've played. Yeah, for sure. And once again, we are seeing the real strengths of Mithra, particularly in a matchup like Rob, who's got such a huge hurt box. Yeah, as the advantage yeah. state is so terrifying. The, the thing is, with like this isn't me trying to throw shade at Mithra, but with some characters when they've got very quick moves, but they have to like guess on their advantage state. It's like. One time they'll throw out the move, and the next time they won't to condition you. But Mithra can, a lot of the time, afford to just throw out the move anyway. And if it doesn't hit, she'll probably get a punish. And um, because she just has very good frame data. Yeah, no, for sure. That's the sort of terrifying part of Mithra. But Spuddle's doing a really good job. Thank you. You know, but we can see really, really excellent yeah. stuff there. You're normally tempted to just sort of retreat, expecting that gyro shot. But Zanati just going in with that dash yeah, attack. Exactly. <laughs> oh my and the god. The neutral B actually pulled the gyro in. And it was still active, so Zanati got hit there. Yeah, and we can see it just right there. Again, he whiffed the hit, called in with the tech chase, and now is still in advantage state. Yeah, this is this is not looking good for Mr. Spuddles. Zanati almost lapping Miss Spuddles already. Yeah, and we can see Zanati just knowing their character's strengths and just abusing it to no end. Mr. Spuddles, once again, we saw it in the previous set where they were going for these gyros when it was already on stage and the sour spot there don't think it quite working out mr spuddles returning back to stage but dropping shield too early on that side b and zanati is just patrolling this stage making yes. sure this is his stage no one else is going to get onto it and that reversal b was genius yeah it's such a huge hitbox from the up b from pyra means that you can just catch it land back on stage and just get the kill. And this is where things get really scary yeah. for Mr. Spurdles. Because you've got to win neutral against a character who has got yeah. arguably the best neutral in the game. The, the thing is, it's not just um, winning neutral. It's explicitly trying to not get hit when you're a character as big as Rob. It's like, yeah. he does not need to take any more damage now. He just needs to take stocks. That's what he needs to do. And as we're seeing right now, Zanati is having no problem at all just tacking on this damage again and again and again. Yeah, it's so, so scary, okay. but the interception of the gyro, thankfully, Mithra's aerial drift just about saving his life. Oh. What an excellent use of foresight there, knowing that he could get away from those multi-hits and this aggression from Zanati. You can go for it when you're about to oh. three-stop first seed. Oh, my Lord. And Zanati is, as you said, working on a three-stop right now, and there it is. Game one, Zanati completes that three-stop, and he has got to be feeling good about that one. God damn, just, and particularly from what we were talking about earlier on about how their first set they played together was really close in the second set, like, wasn't too close and it was in Mr. Spuddle's favour to start off your third set, yeah. almost like the tiebreaker in your head with a three-stop game one. Definitely. What a statement that makes. And one thing I do know about Mr. Spuddle's though, I guess playing a character like Rob, he's been three-stop before and this might be why he has such a solid mental, but even if you three-stop Mr. Spuddle, he's still feeling confident going into the next game. Yeah, and that's the thing. I think it's also particularly when you've got like the solo main life going on. You just Spuddles being, a, I believe, a solo Rob ever since the Smash Four days. You know, you've got to have that mentality of, oh no, are you just dead? That's it. That's it. Like that kind of mentality where it's like, okay, I may have got three stock game one, but I can also take your stock like that. Just insane yeah. awareness from Spuddles, knowing that perfect option to take the stock in that moment. I think it was almost him knowing too that Zanati is going to be brimming with confidence right now. He's coming off stage here. Yeah. I'm just going to wait and throw out this back air. Um, but yeah, so I, the amount of times I've actually seen Miss Fuddles like get three stocked and return with a three stock, I'm not necessarily saying that's going to happen here, but mm. it's just he just doesn't seem to get wavered. <laughs> yeah, no, his mentality has just been excellent every single time that I've seen him play. And you can see Zanati taking a bit more of a patient approach getting hit by that lingering hit and you're going to take that trade every day of the week the weak hit of the laser compared to the killing blow of the back air there absolutely but now Zanati is working on trying to bring this back like Miss Fuddle's got a bit of extra credit and Zanati's going to have to see now what they can do to bring this back into their favour yeah and you can see Zanati just waiting in shield for the perfect moment to get that punish 
but that's quite an aggressive option. We're going to see what Spuddles can get off it. Can Down. he get the stock? Oh, no DI. Just like, about, yeah. I don't think that was no DI. I think, as you saw, Spuddles was drifting towards centre stage with the up air. Yes. And I think it was literally one of the last hits of the up air that actually crossed up Zanati. If you've played a lot of Rob, you know they like to do that. But yeah. Since the retirement of Lucretio, there's not that many Robs left. Yeah, Spuddles being the sort of main Rob. Of course, we have got Wills in Leicester that has got a Rob, but in the same vein, there aren't any sort of quite on that level as Mr. Spuddles. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, um, I mean, they change that tag a lot. Dawn, Snow Globes. Um, yes. They're very, very good, but I'm not sure, being from Preston, Zanati will have had much exposure to them. And that back is going to be it. Mr. Yeah. Spuddles answering back very solidly with a two stock of his own. Yeah, I was going to say, as you mentioned earlier, Mr. Spuddle showing why he is first seed and also just that stoic mentality yeah. that you have to have when you've been playing the game for this long, when you're a solo main and against, you know, even in the face of a three stock, you've got to just be able to go, right, that was then, this is now. Yeah. I went from a three stock to a pretty decisive game too, you know? But we are going to see, you know, Zanati sticking with the Pyramid. They are pretty much a dedicated solo main to this character, only using their formal main inkling to sort of get the odd, you know, the odd matchup here and there. Yeah. And the thing as well is that, um, yeah, Mr. Spuddles, he just knows, like, Rob's a very good character, I'm a very good player, I can bring it back. And yeah, I think that's what helps him have that mentality, but similarly, Zanati seems to just, his mentality seems very strong as well. That's going to be it with no jump. And Zanati had to go for that air dodge, but Mr. Spuddles is just going to recover now. And similarly to how we saw the last game start, Mr. Spuddles has just absolutely pulled out the rope from underneath Zanati. Yeah, and this is the thing, the Achilles heel that is in Pyro Mithra's kit is that that recovery can be so, so exploitable. Really nice aggressive up B just to continue with that disadvantage state, but quite an aggressive and quite a optimistic up yeah. smash there from Zanati what? and just about making it. One thing that was interesting as well, something that I find about Spuddles, especially because he's such a good player, he's been out for so long, I, he kind of just has layers upon layers. Like, you might get out of one option he's covering, and then he'll have another and another. And yeah. we saw when he took this stock early, it was almost the opposite way to how he took game one stock early. Because game one, waited for Zanati to come off stage and go low and back at him. This time, Zanati thought, last time I went low and I died. So I'm going to side be high as a mix up. Yeah. Spuddles was there to just kill him for it again. Yeah, and that's so, so scary in that situation. And the thing is, is that zanati has got to be thinking about that each and every single time that offstage, yeah, I untackable. adore that option. So, so good. Spuddles going that low and that far into the yeah. stage had no option there. It's a really good option, uh, especially because it stalls Pyra, so she's not likely to SD with it. Good stall on the recovery from Zanati again as well. Yeah, we can see once again this insane advantage stay, but yeah. I'm not really enjoying these up smashes from Zanati, sort of going for these quite aggressive reads in situations where they really don't need to. Okay, knew Zanati was going to tech, but wasn't able to get the gyro out in time. Yeah, good. And now, Zanati is juggling this foot as that forward smash would have been it. Yeah, so, so difficult. Love that neutral oh. air dodge, but fast falling a little bit too far. Yeah, so unfortunate seeing Zanati just SD like that. Yeah, it's so, so difficult in this situation. And now the onus is on Zanati and Rob can play a very good keep away game when they want to. Absolutely, yeah. You can see just the patience, the stalling, and with an aggressive option to make it down. And you only took 8%, but also yeah. you let him get back down in a situation where he should have been dead, really. Zanati once again has gone into that state as well of being almost a sentry, just patrolling the stage. Like, yes. you are not touching the ground here. And it's so important to do that. Like, Spuddles and Rob is a character that's content to not need to be on stage, but they don't like landing. They want to be on stage when they can. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But that was a really lovely wait from Zanati to get that stock. However, okay. when you're in a disadvantage like this, you've got to be so, so careful. And just abusing this gyro, but Spuddles being sent a little bit too far away for that grab to connect. I like that stall with the gyro from Spuddles. He knows that Zanati is trying to catch him now. And one more advantage state from Zanati would have evened up the game here. I love that. Yeah, that's so, so good. Particularly being that sort of... Like, it's so scary because if you go off stage Ooh. and you force sight, you're dead because you yes. get sent so far down. But that was really good awareness and just getting the optimal punish in that situation. Absolutely, and yeah. Yeah, but this is really, really delicate. I like the fact Zanati switching back. Charge down smash Ooh. working, but you can just see okay. the aggression, but falls out of the down smash. What is going on, Red? 
I literally don't even know what to tell you right now. <laughs> that was a crazy turn of events. Yeah, Multiple you... interactions in a row just went the unexpected way, I'd say. Yeah, and you can see Zanassi just likes to keep the stage control. Ooh. Lovely catch on the roll in. It's not quite going to kill just yet. Trying to dash attack that gyro just to get rid of it. However, the gyro having other oh, ideas and across the stage. Not going to kill. 150% on Zanatti right now. Miss Fuller's going for another backup, but it's not going to be it. <gasps> the poke. Yes. I feel like that was 100% a poke. And if it did not poke there, you know Miss Fuller was dying for that. That's so, so scary. And also, the fact that Zanatti was on Pyra and not Mithra. If he was on Mithra, I know. that would have been a dead rob as well. It was such an unfortunate turn of circumstance that yeah. just allowed Spuddles to just clutch that third game. So, so good. Sticking with the same matchup, going almost yep. immediately back into things here and not even giving us a chance to catch our breath. This is such an intense set right now. Going to Battlefield this time though. Yeah, you can see the focus on Zanatti's face. They know that they had that game in the palm of their hand and just didn't quite manage to clutch it out. And they've been in these kinds of situations before. They were saying to me earlier on, there isn't a player pretty much in the country that they feel like they can't beat if they're not, you know, if they're playing well. Yeah, so especially with a character like Pithra. Yes, no, I was going to say. And it's the beauty, the beautiful mentality of, you know, it's clearly not my character because my character is extremely good. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, Zenati clearly has that confidence in themselves and their character. And you need both of those to be winning sets against yeah. anyone. And as you said, if Zenati believes they can beat anyone, I think having belief in themselves and their character is such an important factor. So, I, I mean, I'm happy for them that they found a character like that. I know they played Inkling before too, who was also very good. Yeah, no, just playing a real excellent cast of characters. And we can see once again just going for this Mithra pick and trying to catch Rob without the resources. But again, these quite aggressive options. Spuddles is really catching on to these timings. Oh, the reflector! Wow! Thankfully, still kept their jump. Oh, what and a the fantastic turnaround of the. I know, even that hitbox that high up is still going to take the stop. Yeah, I mean, I experienced it myself during our set. Yeah, it's so, such a devastatingly good move. We can see here Spuddles doing what they do best, just cranking up the heat a little bit, yeah. getting that positioning with the gyro, and then just offering that, you know, pressuring like, presence. Majority of the time, Mr. Spuddles likes to play that I'm going to punish you game, and every now and again, he throws in these incredible bursts of aggression, and it is absolutely terrifying to play against. That's oh. so, so unfortunate. You could tell that Zanati had really done a good job at sort of expending Spuddles' yeah. resources, but just didn't just fell a little bit too low to be able to sort of seal the deal there. It's Absolutely. really unfortunate. And you don't want to be SD in at any point in the set. Don't get it twisted, but 2-1 down, you absolutely don't want to be SD in at any point. Especially when Spuddles has won the last two games and that's how it got to 2-1. Yes. You need an answer and SDing is going to make it all that more difficult. But that ledge trapping... Yeah, really, really solid stuff. Maybe Spuddles thinking he was going to go for some kind of Tomahawk grab, but instead Zanatti going for that super safe forward tilt. Catches so many. Such a huge hitbox. And just going for those two down tilts into the forward smash, even though the gyro didn't quite connect, still going for it. Maybe yeah. Zanatti respecting him a little bit too much there. You see the lovely spacing from Zanatti trying to just keep the yeah. edge guard going. However, it's not quite working out. Spuddles once again with center stage. You know Spuddles wanted the down there there, but Zanatti recognizing this, going for the early up B to hit Spuddles with Mithra's up B to stop that happening. Going yeah. immediately for the up air. I would have liked to see the up tilt there from Spuddles, but he clearly felt Zanatti's mash wasn't going to be strong enough because in all honesty, he hasn't fully mashed this set. That yeah. was the first point he had and he just got out of it with no problem at all. Yeah, that's the thing. When you're on this kind of level of play, even the mix-ups on the mashes become a different game altogether. And the falling Ooh. up air, not quite going to be enough. Rob being a bit of a heavy boy. The neutral air nearly killing as well. Every straight hit is just one step closer to yet another move being... I mean, you F heard it here first, guys. Rob, big. And we are going to a game five. Yeah, game five situation. Both players are nodding. Maybe they've agreed to just go back to the same space stage. Maybe not. I do know Mr. Swiddles personally loves Battlefield. Yes. Absolutely loves it. Looks like FD. Yeah, I we're going to quite the opposite here. <laughs> I personally don't think taking a fast character to FD is a good choice. Because they can just run along that stage while you're trying to land. But 
Mr. Spuddles, he knows what he's doing, so we'll see where he can pull out this game. Yeah, no, for sure. You can definitely tell with him as well. He's very good at, you know, his advantage state is utterly ludicrous. And he yes. takes those moments and he gets those little clutch reads. And I suppose limiting those options from Pyramithra by getting rid of those platforms is going to be so good. But at the same time, you haven't got those platforms to save you when you've got a blonde anime girl just throwing out these hitboxes Absolutely, time and yeah. time again. And we can see just a slow and gentle neutral, very typical of a game five set. Getting that hit of the neutral air into the neutral B and Zanati doing what they do best, just going for these little nickels and dimes just to be able to get it. But Spuddles... Oh, Spuddles is even up percent so quickly and now Zanati is in a horrible situation. Yeah, and you can see now just trying to play the neutral game with Pyra. Neutral being a lot easier for Rob in this scenario. Zanati going to go for this ledge trap. We're going to see what he can get. Can't get too much. And that's the thing. The boost from the back air as well yeah. means that even if you go for that cross-up back air, you can just run, particularly against Pyro, who really has not got the speed to catch up with you. Mr. Spuddles, almost the one that spread that tech around, knows about grabbing Gyro from ledge like that. But Zanati was wise to the jump and ended the stock with a forward air. The first stock in this game five. Yeah, and you can see Zanati just about getting away from that setup. But when you're getting back thrown like that, again, expend the jump. Ray swap coming out from Zanati. Sour downer sending him off. And the downer this time, a great recovery once again. But catches that neutral get up. Yeah. yeah. So, so difficult. And that's the thing with Spuddles. He think he's not phased about missing that edge guard the third yeah. time. He gets it the fourth time, well, and the result's still the th same. This is what I mean about the layers. Some players, they think, this is the option I want. When the option doesn't work, they're stuck, they're, they're frozen, they're shielding, they're doing something. Mr. Spuddles was like, this edge guard didn't work, send them back up stage. This edge guard didn't work, send them back up stage. This edge guard didn't work, I've got the up smash on their neutral gap. Like, he just has so many options ready in his head. But what a beautiful option there yeah, from Zanati just calling guard. that high jump. Again, we've been seeing Spuddles really recover low given due to the versatility of Rob's recovery, but Zanati just calling it out in that clutch moment Absolutely. where they can start to build that advantage in the game five. Reminder, this could be Spuddles' last set on the winner's side of bracket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see just Zanati hunting down, sharking, knowing that Spuddles isn't gonna have too many options, but the trade allowing Spuddles to get back onto the stage, but that quite aggressive laser Clutch air dodge. So, so scary for Mr. Spuddles. And you can see Zanati just going for this down air, but Ooh, Spuddles knowing the timing. That is it. Yeah. That is it. Zanati taking it game five for Mr. Spuddles. That was an absolutely fantastic set. Yeah, three, two, getting 